In this video, I will be walking through the appropriate steps to create a points-based gradebook in D2L. The gradebook serves as the backbone of your D2L course, so setting up your gradebook before your class begins is a great way to ensure that both you and your students have a clear understanding of the graded assignments required for your class. To open the D2L gradebook from your course homepage, click the evaluation link group located in that default course navigation bar and then select grades. If this is your first time opening the grades tool in the course, D2L is going to automatically take you to the grades setup wizard. But if you've already been in the gradebook for whatever reason, you can always click on setup wizard in the sub menu located at the top of the frame of the grades tool. Completing the setup wizard is always a great way to ensure that D2L is displaying and calculating your course's grades as you intend. So let's go ahead and get started with this wizard. First, click on the Start button to begin the wizard. Step 1 of the Gradebook wizard will ask you to select a grading system. So this is where you're going to determine what kind of gradebook you're going to have. D2L supports three different gradebook systems. A weighted system is where a student's grade items are calculated as a percentage of the final grade worth 100%. A weighted gradebook setup is covered in a separate video. In a points system, so the system that we'll be working with today in this video, each gradebook item will have a maximum point value, and then a student's final grade will be calculated by totaling the points achieved for each grade item and then dividing it by the maximum points available for the course. A formula system is the most advanced gradebook in D2L. It's going to allow you to create your own custom calculation formula that will also allow you to set some conditions on your grade items. Now for most grading scenarios, a weighted or a points system will satisfy all of the instructor's calculation requirements. But if you select this formula grading system, you will need to maintain the formula in D2L in order to calculate your final grades appropriately. I'm going to select points grading system and then I'll click continue to proceed to the next step. Step 2 presents you with two options for the final grade release to your students. You can choose to release the final calculated grade or the adjusted final grade. Now keep in mind that the student view of your gradebook, the student sees a list of grade items and the points they have earned for each item. D2L doesn't display any summary information to the student until you release that calculation. Of course, releasing the final grade in D2L has no effect whatsoever on that student's official transcript in Banner Student System. You must still enter your final letter grades for your course in gold link. Selecting calculated final grade is going to display the grade achieved by the student based on the grading formula that you specified. It cannot be adjusted in any way without editing the actual grade item scores. Selecting this adjusted final grade is going to present you with the calculated final grade, but then give you an opportunity to change or modify that grade before releasing it to your students. I typically suggest this adjusted final grade simply because it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So if you want to round up on a student's grade or award the student some bonus points, you have the flexibility to do so. Make your selection on this screen and then click continue. The third step of the grade setup wizard determines how D2L handles ungraded items. So in D2L, an ungraded item is any grade item that does not have a grade inputted into it. Examples of ungraded items include future assignments that have yet to be completed by the student, or assignments where the student failed to upload an electronic submission or failed to complete a quiz attempt. Selecting Drop Ungraded Items will configure D2L to ignore any ungraded or blank grade items when calculating a student's final grade. Selecting Treat Ungraded Items as Zero will configure D2L to count all ungraded items as zero in the final grading calculation. This Auto Update checkbox should be marked if you want to keep a running tally of that student's final grade calculation in your instructor view of the gradebook. So anytime you update a student's grade item, his or her final grade calculation will change and using this auto update will give you a snapshot of that student's grade as he or she progresses through the semester. I always suggest checking this option. Make your selection in the ungraded items and auto update sections of this page and then click continue. The fourth step of the grade setup wizard controls the grading scheme for your course. Now in D2L a grading scheme is how D2L presents a student's grade in both the instructor view and the student view. The default scheme at ETSU is called percentage. 
Now, keeping this default setting has no effect whatsoever on the grading system you select. So, for a points-based gradebook, selecting percentage here gives you the option to display both the points grade, so for example, a 9 out of 10, as well as the grade scheme. So the grade scheme would be 90% represented to the student. Now, in this particular course, I have created two additional grading schemes, letter grade and letter grade plus minus scheme. If I were to choose letter grade instead of this percentage grading scheme, my students would see an A instead of my 9 out of 10 points in their gradebook. So the scheme controls how a student's grade is displayed. It has no effect whatsoever on the grading calculation. For this step, percentage is appropriate. So select percentage and then click continue. In step 5, you will see a number of decimal places to be displayed in the grading area. You have to select a number between 0 and 5, and the default is 2. Now, selecting 0 or 1 will not force D2L to round your grade up or down. It will just simply display either 1 or no decimal places. Enter a number and then click Continue. In step 6, you will configure the student view of your D2L gradebook. You have three choices in this grade details section, and you can mark any, all, or none of these three options. If you mark points grade, what will be displayed to the student is the actual point value associated with the grade item. So again, that 9 out of 10 points. If you mark grade scheme symbol, the grade scheme symbol associated with the grade will be presented to the student. So for example, taking that 9 out of 10, the student will be displayed with also a 90% in their gradebook. Marking the grade scheme's color will display the grade scheme color associated with that grade item to the student. Now, the grade scheme color can only be displayed if the grade scheme symbol option is also checked. Enter the number of decimal places to display to the students in the decimals displayed text box. You must enter a number between 0 and 5, and again, the default is 2. Enter a number between 0 and 50 in this characters displayed field. This field is going to control how many characters to display for text gradebook items. Now, text gradebook items are used to communicate non-graded text-based items in the gradebook. So, for example, you can have a grade item that displays course evaluation completed as the student's grade. Of course, text gradebook items are not used toward the final grade calculation. Marking the final grade calculation option will determine whether or not your students can see how their final grade was calculated. Basically, a calculator icon will display beside of a student's final grade, and when the student clicks on the calculator icon, a window will pop open that lists the grade items involved in the final grading calculation. So if you want to make that available to your students, click the final grade calculation and then click continue. Step 7 is summary information, so you need to verify that all of the information displayed on your screen reflects the settings that you intended. If you see any errors or discrepancies, now is the time to make changes. So if you need to make any changes, use this go back button to return to the appropriate step, make the changes, and then continue on throughout the gradebook wizard. If all of the information displayed on this screen is correct, click Finish and you're now ready to begin creating gradebook items and categories in your gradebook.